Hello friends, welcome to channel 11. So today I am going to explain how to validate the SRS, SRS, SSRS uh, input parameters. In my previous video, video I have explained how to generate the SSRS report using parameter stored procedure. You can get the complete details from that video. For the for overview purpose, I will just explain. This is the procedure I have used uh, for this report. So it is having three input parameters, with default values. And suppose if you don't get, if you don't use it, doesn't pass any values to this procedure, it will get the complete details. So if you see, this is the where condition and if you don't pass so if you don't pass it will by default it will be none so it will get the complete you can get the uh, more details in my previous video from that this is the stored processor so from this data set i'm going to uh, you uh, execute the stored processor and uh, based on that as uh, uh, based on that list and uh, data set i have created the report so now uh, I will explain how to validate the uh, user inputs in uh, using uh, using VB code. Um, so how to validate and before uh, passing the that uh, input parameters to SP. So I will just run this one and I will explain that what are the validations I have used. Uh, by default. Uh, with this uh, details on the SP it is not giving any values any result that is the reason uh, we are uh, it is showing the no rows found and suppose if I pass the null values As I explained my, in my uh, just now, so if I this stored pressure, if you don't pass any value, it is going to return the uh, complete details. So this is the uh, results from that uh, stored procedure uh, if we pass the null values. Let's take, let's take, suppose if I, uh, if I selected the max of today from date, and if I try to run, run this report, so it's get so if you see here, it's getting validating uh, between this uh, from date and to date as well. Suppose if you try to pass the from date is greater than today, so the, it, we are going to uh, getting the display saying that invalid date range from date cannot be greater than current date. Same like if I try to uh, pass the to date also greater than to date. So from date and to date cannot be greater than current date. Let's, let's try to uh, one more time. So I have given 19 from date and uh, actually by uh, so this is not a valid uh, dates uh, always from date should be less than the to date so if i try to view the report i should get the error saying, saying that invalid range from date cannot be greater than to date so at the same time i have also given uh, validations for the name also so if i try to give empty this it won't accept um, so if i try enter uh, uh, lim below limit uh, name should be exactly eight letters so I have uh, limited to eight letters here so if I try to view more than that and also I will get the uh, same error here so if I give uh, so let me try uh, use uh, exact numbers so with this name there is no any data that's the reason I didn't get uh, any result from the SP. So that's the reason it shows no rows on. So if I execute with the uh, non values, so I'm getting the data. So this is the demo point of now. I will show you the how to uh, steps how to 
uh, how to do these validations so for every for every uh, every field we have the one property called uh, expressions in expressions so we have option to write our own logic uh, to validate the reports so so here um, in here if you uh, if you put the cursor here and uh, try to right click so you will get the report properties uh, menu if you click the report properties we have so this dialog box will appear so in code section if you click the code so there is a kind of option called custom code so here we can we can write our own logic with the VB script fun functions so i will explain this one this is the functions i have used to validate that one this is called function name So if you see this is the VB script, so it, it, it is very easy to understand. Mm, mm, see, uh, it is a function, so it's uh, always going to return some value. Here I'm going to return in string. This is the function uh, written string. So I'm passing three uh, arguments, name and from date and as well as to date. Mm, see, it is going to accept three arguments. Uh, here uh, I have uh, put the my logic uh, try catch so I have created a uh, variable called message so if you see this is the my conditions different conditions suppose if you go from date greater than to date and uh, from date also less than or equal to date and as well as today then I am returning message saying that invalid date range from date can be so same like for to date and from uh, so same like for current date also and so uh, these are the validations I have given for the date fields uh, this is the validations uh, for the names name if uh, I am checking here with that length if it is not a eight then I am returning message name should be exactly letters this is sample purpose so I have uh, developed us uh, so I have created on some very easy things so for uh, for uh, our, based on your requirement you can uh, um, write we uh, create the web script functions and you can use uh, here in SSRS reports so this is the uh, complete code for this SSRS report so this is the function so we, uh, so wherever we required uh, we we want so we can call using expression as I mentioned here. See if we hidden. Uh, suppose if I don't get uh, data any values from the uh, SP, so I, I I don't want to display my report. So this is the code. So if you see here. Uh, this is the if condition uh, so this is the method uh, which i have created in uh, which i have showed uh, before a uh, few minutes back so from here i'm going to call that function with these parameters three parameters here the name begin date end date and see i'm writing this condition if this value uh, if this um, if this value returns and uh, at the same time data set row number is not equal to zero hidden false otherwise hidden true so if if i have some values if everything goes fine here with this function and the data set having some rows then display the this uh, report table otherwise it should be hidden so that is the reason whenever we don't have any data we are not going to see this uh, uh, report table so I have I have created two text boxes if you observe here there is a errors are displaying here so this is the area I have great I have created two text boxes an expression so this is this is my expression I'm going to calling that to validations function with this input in these parameters 
so whenever uh, whatever the returning from this function is going to display here the um, date range is not um, is from date to date and the name validations all, all are displaying here so there is a one more thing and uh, this is the um, so suppose if you don't have any rows uh, in the data set then uh, I am going to show the no rows found so if you observe here whenever uh, we will get the empty results so we are showing to no rows found this is the uh, code I have used and uh, this is for sample so you can use uh, uh, any number of expressions and code uh, as per our requirement so if you see your amount also I have created one expressions so uh, uh, before my uh, all amount field I should add a dollar symbol so that's my required so using expressions I have implemented that, that feature here so I will run it again once again here So with this uh, date, with this input fields, I am not getting any empty results. So that is the reason no rows found. The same rate is also validating the dates. So no. all two dates are always less than current date. That is the reason it is showing here. So I will make it everything null and I uh, will try to review the report. So see, uh, this is my uh, result with uh, from the SP and so uh, i'm done my uh, my demo uh, so if you have any questions please uh, type your comments in the comment box and uh, if you require i will share this code also please visit my channel regularly and uh, uh, for new new updates thanks for your time have a good day